Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Mr. Right Channel. And this is the new Galaxy S23 Ultra from Samsung. The S23 series is available in four standard colors, Phantom Black, Cream, Green, and Lavender. As you can see here, I'm showing you the green one, which is the frontman colorway for the Galaxy S23 lineup this year. The green on this series is actually very different from the green on the S22 series. Uh, the former one is more of a military green, while this one heavily resembles a darker shade of teal. The device comes with the same previous design, but with a lot of enhancement and capabilities. The screen is now less curved than before, and it's now protected with a Corning Gorilla Glass Victus version 2. Uh, this glass layer is actually the toughest in the market. The frame is now made from armor aluminium, and the device supports water and dust resistant of standard type IP68. The screen has a size of 6.8 inch of type Dynamic AMOLED 2X and it supports Quad HD Plus resolution. It comes with a 500 pixel per inch density and up to 1715 its brightness. It supports adaptive refresh rate that starts from 1 Hz up to 120 Hz. So, the overall performance has been significantly improved and when we are talking about improvements, there are two things of arguably the most important things you can actually change in a phone. The first one is the ship that runs it all and of course the cameras. So, in this phone and actually the whole S23 lineup has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy. So, this is a chip that is specially customized for these Samsung phones. This gives this series a slightly higher max clock speed on the performance core and slightly higher clock speed on the GPU as well. So compared to the regular Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, it has now 3.36 GHz CPU for a single core instead of 3.2 GHz and 719 MHz instead of 680 MHz for the GPU. So it scores slightly better on benchmarks than the regular Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. And that, of course, gives the device plenty of muscle to make switching apps fast and snappy. This makes it capable of hard-hitting games like Asphalt and Call of Duty, so it can run both games easily at max settings with zero frame drops or hitches. And of course, not only that, this phone get some serious battery life gains. The battery is really, really good. So it's the same 5000 mAh power cell, but with this huge screen, it won't die. So combine this excellent battery life with a pretty solid 45 watt charging that can go zero to 100 in an hour, plus wireless charging with reverse wireless charging, and you've got yourself a battery monster. Okay, anyway, that's the ships, but there is also a new set of cameras, hardware and software across the board that is better than you think. We have now a new 200 megapixel primary camera with double the optical image stabilization range as before that supports amazing photographic capabilities. These improvements to the stabilization is so important here when you go from a normal sensor to a super high resolution 200 megapixel sensor. This will allow you to shoot literally 200 megapixel photos now. It will now correct up to 3 degrees of check instead of 1.5 from before. This means it can correct from the movement in your hand much more. So you can hold the camera stable for much longer. So it can leave the shutter open to collect more light and still get a sharp photo. Photos are typically pretty warm from these Samsung phones and have more contrasty look than before. The photo size allows you to zoom in without losing quality and it has a big range of good zoom performance. It has also enhanced night photo performance and better light withdrawal with astrography mode support. This mode enables you to capture photos of stars when the device is stabilized and the software will help you with this mode. And also the video has been improved thanks to the better processing and new sensors. 
so it has a super steady mode and optical stabilization and works great in a variety of lighting. And on top of that, the camera supports recording videos with 8K with a frame rate 30 frames per second. The front camera is 12 MP, but with new technologies for better selfies results. It's better now when it comes to the night photos and night portrait mode. Now the selfie with the better software processing is very sharp, detailed, has nice color, doesn't flare too much, and also has a decently wide angle. This is an extensive improvement to the camera. The RAM size depends on the storage size, so it's either 8 or 12 GB LPDDR5. The base storage has also jumped up, so now it starts from 256 GB to 512 GB and up to 1 TB. This device that I'm showing you has a 512 GB and a 12 GB of RAM. If you want a pocket computer for work, the Galaxy S23 delivers in space here too. It can easily run three apps simultaneously, and thanks to the huge screen, you can display them all at the same time with some window splitting. It also has a built-in feature called DeX that lets you connect to a monitor, keyboard, and a mouse via USB-C hub and use it like an Android OS desktop PC. I believe it has the best telos in a smartphone in the world, so you can also use the pen, mark up a screenshot, and sign a PDF. The operating system is Android 13 with one UI 5.1 on top of it and the device supports dual SIM cards and eSIM but it also depends on the region. It also supports the latest Bluetooth 5.3 and NFC technology. And as in the previous series, it's protected by Samsung Knox and supports unlocking using the in-display fingerprint sensor, password and face detection. That was it, I hope you enjoyed this review and if you liked it, please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe.